Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about nested if and else if ladder. First of all, nested if. Nested if is a part of conditional statement through which we can check more than one if conditions. As you can see this syntax here, we have two segments if and else. This is known as true part of if and this is known as false part. Now if first if condition is true then control transfers inside it and here another set of if else is available. So this is true part of this if and this is false part of this if. So now you can easily recognize that if you want to join more than one if conditions then we can use nested if or you can say if we want to use a if statement inside another if then we can also use nested if statement. This is the example uh, to understand the working of nested if. Program is read three numbers and find out maximum. So in this program, this first if segment and second segment is else. This is true part and this is false part. Now compiler checks first if condition. Suppose a is greater than b. So if a is greater than b then control uh, will be transferred inside this true block. Here another set of if else is available which is checking a is greater than c. So if a is greater than b and immediately a is greater than c and uh, both the conditions are true then uh, the result of a will be printed as greatest value. If first condition A is greater than B is false, then control automatically transfers to this else block. Here another if or else is available which is checking B is greater than C. So if A is greater than B is false, so in else part compiler will check B with C. If B is greater than C, then uh, B will be printed as greatest value, otherwise C will be printed as greatest value. Next is else if ladder. Uh, you can see the syntax here. It is also divided into two parts. First is if and second one is else. This is true part. and this is false. If we compare nested if with else if ladder, you can see that in case of nested if, uh, true part of if is checking another condition. But in case of else if ladder, false part of if condition is checking another condition. So in else if ladder, else part is containing if or else segment. So this is true and this is false part. So now we can relate else if ladder with this program. The program is check whether a number is positive, negative or zero. So in this program first we are checking if condition which is n greater than zero. Suppose this condition is true then uh, compiler will, will print number is positive. Suppose this condition is false, then control will transfer to else part. In else, there is another if which is saying n is less than 0. So if n is greater than 0 is false, then compiler will check n is less than 0. If it is true, then output will be number is negative. Otherwise, num output will be number is 0. These are some programs uh, for your practice. You can implement these programs in any of C compiler. 
so that you can uh, learn programming in better way you can also find out the solution of these programs in my uh, app which is tutorials by tech abyss you can download this app from google play store thank you